For the first time since 1939, the King's official birthday is marked by the full dress glory of Trooping the Colour. Arriving at Horse Guards Parade on a state landor, His Majesty wears the uniform of Colonel in Chief for the Welsh Guards, a regiment whose colour is being trooped this year. Riding beside the royal carriage, Princess Elizabeth wears the dark blue riding habit bearing the insignia of the Grenadier Guards, whose colonel she is. At the other side of the land door is the Duke of Gloucester, colonel of the Scots Guards. So His Majesty rides past his regiments as the royal inspection continues. From a window above the Horse Guards arch, the Queen watches the scene below as His Majesty takes his place on the dais. The stage is set, and the massed bands of the five guards' regiments take up the story. Around the parade ground, vast crowds were closely following each manoeuvre, and now every eye was on the colour escort, moving forward as the climax of the ceremony approached. And so to the most tense moment of the parade, as the regimental sergeant major, with drawn sword, takes the colour from a sergeant before handing it to the junior officer who will carry it in the trooping itself. At one point, the princess's horse became restive, but with the calm of an expert horsewoman, she kept him under control. And now, with every movement perfectly coordinated, the entire parade moves past in slow time, the colour dipping in salute. Quick time, the parade moves past once more. The 
trooping was over, but for the royal procession, it was a march of triumph back to the palace. Crowds totaling 300,000 were gathered to cheer the king at this, his first great public ceremony for several months. And the cheers were repeated for the queen, Queen Mary, and other members of the royal family. Again, the king takes his place on the dais for the final march past by the brigade, which can rightly look back on this day with pride. A fitting epilogue to the guard's own tribute to their colonel-in-chief and a nation's greeting to its king.